Hello ladies and gentlemen, Chris Slight here with the Fragmentality bringing you Slight Gaming News with today's top stories. First of all, the Dragonborn DLC for Skyrim, which will see you flying around on dragons, going back to Morrowind and doing all kinds of cool stuff, is indeed coming to the PlayStation 3 and PC. This has been a subject of much controversy for a while as the DLC, as many of you PS3 users are well aware, has taken its sweet time getting to you. But Bethesda have confirmed that early 2013 will see you Riding around on dragons. Riding around on dragons! Everybody wants to do that, right? <laughs> Good times. In other news, Blizzard have registered ProjectBlackstone.com. What could this mean? Most people are thinking that it may well be an expansion for Diablo 3, which really has been on the cards for quite a while now, as many people I know that play that game have kind of done a lot of the stuff they wanted to do with it. So, Diablo 3 expansion? Project Blackstone? Or could it be the next MMO, which they are in fact working on right now? Who knows, but hopefully we'll find out very soon when ProjectBlackstone.com actually becomes a website. But we shall see. Speaking of rumoured things, the Xbox 720, or just plain old Xbox, will be coming out, apparently, according to a new rumour, next year around Christmas time. Dev kits are already flying around for the next Xbox, so that isn't too outlandish of a rumour. But we'll have to wait and see. There's nothing actually officially confirmed. Makes sense though, if you're going to launch it, launch it around Christmas or in America, Thanksgiving, sort of period. Hopefully we'll all be playing on brand new Xboxes come next year, so we shall see. And in our final tiny story discussion that I'd like to put out to you, the cover art for Bioshock Infinite has come out. Hopefully it will appear somewhere beside me. Now, the problem a lot of people have had with it, because it caused a big drama bomb on the interwebs. Sorry, I was Adventure Time. If you watch Adventure Time, you know. Love the Space Princess. Anyway, dropped a big drama bomb on the interwebs. Basically, because it really doesn't show you what Bioshock Infinite's all about. It's doing the classic man standing with gun, looking down but looking up at the same time. And there are a lot of games that have a man standing on the front, da -da 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 -da, looking down and up. So when you look at it as a consumer, people are saying you just look at it and go, Oh, it's another video game that means you kill people as an angry looking white man. I don't know, I mean to me, as a gamer who's been waiting for this for quite a while, I'm well aware of what the game's going to be about, I know it's not just going to boil down to a Call of Duty style shooter, I know there's a lot more going on, so I don't really care, I look at them sort of like, yeah okay, I'll probably look at the cover like two or three times, but mostly I've been playing the game. The argument a lot of people are making is that for your average consumer who doesn't know what the game's about, this gives you no idea whatsoever that in fact there is much more to Bioshock Infinite than big angry white dude shooting people. What do you guys think? That's what I want to know. Do you like the Bioshock Infinite cover? There's nicer artwork out there, I'll agree with that from a lot of the people online. There's definitely nicer things that have your companion in it that show the futuristic floating city and all the things you're going to be flying around on zipline style. I don't know. To me, I... I can see the point being raised, but I think I look at it again from a selfish perspective and just think, standard, who cares, I know this, I know what this game is about. But we'll see. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think this will adversely affect the sales that Bioshock Infinite could maybe pull in? Or maybe they're trying to think, who knows, maybe people will look at this and think, oh, it's kind of like Call of Duty, and then we'll buy it and then have a much more enriching experience. Hmm. Who knows? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below about anything else you want to know about, because right now, that is the end of Slight Gaming News, so please like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't like it, maybe if you want to leave a comment and you're like, You suck, man! Which, you know, many angry, bitter people on the internet will do, but there's some cool people out there, I know there are. So, like this video, leave your comments below, and do click subscribe, because the fragmentality it don't just bring you me. We've got Corporal Key, everyone likes Corporal Key, watch our videos. We've got Aaron, Aaron does some awesome reviews of games. Check them out, and they will just appear in your newsfeed. You don't have to search a single thing and feel like a chump. Click subscribe, so like, comment, and subscribe. And from me, Chris Slight, from Slight Gaming News, I bid you goodbye, and I will see you very soon, friends.